Okay, let's have a look here. Again, find the antiderivatives. So, for 74, um, that would be x power 5 plus 2 thirds x power 6. When the 6 comes down, it might, yeah, plus c. Okay, 475, that would be x squared over 2 plus 4x cubed plus c. Uh, 12x squared, yeah. 476, oh, okay, that's a bit tougher. Um, that would have to be rewritten as x power minus a half. So that would become 2 root x then, because you increase that by 1, so it becomes a half, and divide by a half. Okay, 477, that's x power 3 over 2. Um, yeah, increase the power by 1, divide by the new power. 478, uh, increase the power by 1, so that would be 4 over 3, divide by the new power plus 2 power a third, and then increase the power by 1, which is 4 over 3, and then divide by the power, plus C. Uh, 479. Oh, why is, it, why is it written like this? So that would be X power minus a third. 1 third minus 2 thirds. So Increase the power by 1, divide by the new power, 480, uh, minus 2 cos x, minus a half cos 2x. Okay, 481. Um, I think that's tan x. Uh, plus x plus c. Let's see now. Let's check the answers actually. 474 about. Okay, 475. Let's start with that. A half x squared plus 4x cubed plus c. Two fifths. Yeah. Uh, uh, 3 over 2. Uh, yeah. X plus tan, X plus C. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so that's, that's looking good. That's looking good.